Hey everyone, we finally got the Framework 16 replacement. And as you can see, I did apply a dbrand skin to my laptop after an unboxing, but I'll be sending that all in um, back to Framework, Framework's RMA department, just because I don't think the transfer will go well. Um, but I also reached out to dbrand and they were able to support giving me a replacement as long as I paid for shipping, which is only five bucks. So I'd rather take that route. Um, and in this video, we're just gonna be swapping over the core components being the RAM, bezel, SSD, and expansion cards. I'm still using the original charger as well. So yeah, let's get into replacing this. And after the swap, I'll be testing the expansion base swap with the blank one um, and you know testing if the fan spin, gaming with the iGPU, and then I'll swap back to using the dedicated GPU. And at the end of the video, you'll see me playing some Elden Ring at the end. Another small note here is that the interposer, the little black thing, uh, the latch isn't broken like how it was on my batch one. Well, on the batch one, it technically wasn't broken in the video, but it was very loose and definitely didn't lock in as well as this one. The thermal pad, uh, I also did get end up getting a replacement pad from the factory, um, and they sent that in, but unfortunately that's just all going back now. But as you can see in this one, the thermal pad's completely fine, not ripped or teared up or anything. Um, and in this, in this here, you can see that I'm having a little bit of trouble trying to get the SS, that little um, 2230 M.2 uh, in. I'm struggling to get that in. And it's because uh, I didn't notice this until after I have it installed. And it's still technically installed right now, but the thermal pad from the old one is still stuck to the back of it. I just never checked of it. Um, and there's also another thermal pad on like that, uh, the Interposer metal shell. Um, it's like a red thermal pad. Make sure to peel that as well. I noticed that the keyboard flex on this seems a little bit, a little bit less than batch one, but I didn't see any difference in the rubber pads. But maybe that extra thickening and that the thermal pad on the twenty-two thirty uh, M.2 uh, played into it. Another uh, keynote to keep in mind is if you're swapping over um, your M.2s and they already have Windows installed, like I have and your uh, Microsoft account is linked to your Windows activation, uh, it's gonna ask you for a BitLocker recovery key. So make sure to, um, you know, just go to aka.ms slash recovery key and then log in with your Outlook email or live whatever to grab your um, BitLocker key because you're uh, not gonna be able to access your OS unless you get that key in. Here, I was just using a online web, a GPU test to see if the fans would spin up. Um, and they were really quiet actually. And I thought they were broken initially, but the uh, later, you know, as the heat began to soak in a little bit more, I could definitely uh, feel the heat coming out and the fans didn't ramp up as high as I thought they would, but it was still uh, pushing out heat. Like that was the key thing. And then I was able to get Elden Ring running on the iGPU, which seemed to run at a stable like 30 FPS at least, but it could go up to 40. And now I'm swapping back to using the RX 7700S. Key thing that I noticed on my old, my batch one laptop was that it wasn't even picked up in device manager when I did that swap. But as you can see here, it is detected. So that's working and I don't want to mess with it too much because I know it's only rated for a certain amount of cycles, but it's working.
thanks again for watching everyone and shout out to framework support for sending out that replacement i'll see you next time